is no secret that pediatrics is one of the most challenging fields of medicine today. Children associate doctors with unpleasant memories, and the infamous white coat phobia makes it all the more hard for these loving professionals to work their magic. Hi, we're Antonio and Sara from Portugal, and we are here to tell you all about the Teddy Bear Hospital book project. The Teddy Bear Hospital is a make-believe children's hospital initiative that aims to fight this anxiety that children feel when visiting their doctor. It has been around for decades now, hosted by many medical student committees all over the world. However, something was missing, something that would unify all the different teddy bear hospitals and also allow for schools and families to continue this work at home. And so, the One Day at the Teddy Bear Hospital book was born. Beautifully illustrated and written by a handful of talented medical students from all over Portugal, it tells us the compelling story of Peter and his bear, Egas, an homage to the Portuguese Nobel Prize in Medicine winner, Dr. Egas Muniz. After suffering a minor accident, Peter's bear needs medical care. And so an adventure begins. Through amazing surgery rooms and bottles filled with colorful liquids, Peter experiences firsthand a playful approach of the various medical specialties and ends up learning that perhaps the hospital might not be such a scary place after all. In Portugal, the book has been nothing short of a success. It is on sale in every major bookstore and is now part of the government's own national reading plan. A recognition of its enormous potential as a tool for teachers and families alike, helping the country move forward. The book has now reached the homes of more than 10,000 children and is strong on its way to change the paradigm of pediatrics in Portugal. It is proof that even in the darkest times and in the bleakest economic crisis, good ideas always find a way to thrive and to succeed. The book launching ceremony that took place back in 2011 also made history by joining the presidents of both IFMSA and EMSA together in support of a joint project. And now the time has come for you to join us and be part of this project as well. By making this an IFMSA endorsed project, we aim to translate and publish this book worldwide, reaching countless other children and giving good name to the IFMSA itself. We hope IFMSA's national member organizations will take an interest in establishing contact with local publishers and, just to be clear, we expect no revenue whatsoever in return, just like we have no revenue with the Portuguese edition. So what do we want? These are the smiles of Portuguese children after visiting their doctor. Now it's your time to show us the smiles of your children. Thank you and see you soon.